Hello friends, welcome back. We are at the 2022 New York Auto Show and today I'm showing you the all new, completely redesigned Kia Niro. So there's three models of the Nero. We're gonna nerd out a little bit. Let's get started. The first thing I wanna talk about are the looks of it. This, I like it a lot more than the current or the outgoing Nero. It was starting to get old in the, well, long in the tooth. I think it came out in 2016 and they didn't really do too much to it. They did add an EV trim, but this is a lot, it's a little bit bigger in wheelbase and exterior dimensions and it just looks more upscale. This has full LED headlights. Kia is doing that a lot. I may have to start yelling, but hopefully you can hear me. Let's just keep going. So full LED headlights. Kia and Hyundai are doing a lot of full LED headlights, but you have these nice LED daytime running lights. There's nothing up top here. I kind of like that they've just condensed it into one whole unit. They do call that, they do say that the turn signal, which is this part, it's a, it's a switchback. It's a heartbeat inspired. I don't know what, the, you know, I don't see any heartbeat in it. This, you know, of course, because this one is the full EV model. So everything is, you know, blocked in. There are some cooling here. I'm assuming that's, you know, because EVs need to stay cool too. You know, EV lives matter. Oh my God. But this is where you actually plug it in. So this one is the Nero EV, like I said. This has low rolling resistant EV tires. These are 17 inch alloys. They are aerodynamically designed, you know, for better aer aerodynamics, as you'd say. I just don't exactly know how I feel about the two-tone. The rear end of this is interesting. When Kia first released this this morning, I didn't know how I felt about the rear end, but I actually like it a lot. Now, full LED tail lights over here. These are just the brake lights. I do like how it's kind of, you know, it's very futuristic looking and you still get a rear wiper that's not hidden. A lot of people hide the, hide, hide the rear wiper, but let's open it. Power tailgate. So there's 22.8 feet of volume behind the second row seat. It's a 60-40 split seat and underneath impressive enough for being an ev and all of them have this little storage nook underneath of course you don't get a spare tire you get a can of fix a flat and hopes and dreams from your honda hyundai dealer not honda hyundai but power tailgate is quite nice like i said 60 40 split and you can get a little tonneau cover on it as well so now is for the nitty gritty, the powertrains. There's three powertrains for this new Nero. This one is the EV. Now, of course, there's no engine, but this one has a frunk. You pull on this. Oh, <laughs> it's kind of smaller than I was expecting, but at least there's some storage here. But this one makes 201 horsepower from a 64.8 kilowatt electric motor front wheel drive only. And of course it's a single speed planetary gearbox, just like all other EVs. Range is up to 253 miles. That is for the EV. Now this one is the Nero plug-in hybrid, the PHEV. This one uses a 1.6 liter naturally aspirated inline four, just like the regular Kia Nero hybrid. This one makes 180 horsepower and 195 pound feet of torque. It's going to the front wheels and only through a six speed dual clutch automatic transmission. And you can get up to 33 miles of estimated range from just electric mode. Also in terms of charging, where's the charger port on this one? Oh, it's right here. Kia says that the Nero plug-in hybrid supports level two charging and it takes up to three hours to fill it up from empty. This is the Nero Hybrid. This is the one I think would be the volume seller. This uses a 1.6 liter naturally aspirated four cylinder. It makes 139 horsepower and 195 pound feet of torque. It's paired to a 32 kilowatt electric motor. And you can see all the fancies over here. And interestingly enough, the Nero Hybrid and plug-in hybrid use a six speed dual clutch automatic transmission. And the Nero Hybrid like this one can get up to 53 miles per gallon combined inside of the Nero. This is where things have vastly been improved. So the driver's seat and the passenger seat is this oh, an eight way power passenger seat 
and an eight-way power driver's seat. And the driver's seat has two-way lumbar, really nice. But the interior of this is stunning. You have a 10-inch touchscreen display. I can't really start it because the key is in it and the car is off. I mean, look at this like artsy material. There is a lot of piano black. I'm not that crazy about that because like, well, uh, when I'm trying to demonstrate it, it is actually kind of clean. So I guess good job. But like, look at the material on this. Interesting, very interesting. I like that they're not doing like a faux leather thing. It's just kind of like, it looks like an environmentally friendly car. And then the glove box, nicely sized. The steering wheel is also very interesting. Two spoke wheels are coming back, baby. But it's like, you know, 1980, 19, I mean, I'm not referring, but you know. You know. But I like the steering wheel. It's a nice, it has a nice 10 and two grip. Well, nine and three grip, excuse me. But nice bolsters here. It does have paddles, but for, they're for the regen braking. The drive mode button is on the steering wheel itself, which is pretty interesting. And there's a bunch of controls on it. The gauges are fully digital. There's a lot of information on them. I can't really see much of it right now because the car is off. This here, you have Qi wireless charging. A USB type C port, USB type A port, and a 12 volt power outlet. They did a very nice job integrating that. And over here, this is where the climate controls are. You can't really see because the car is off. It's interesting how it kind of hides. It's like an electroluminescent thing like old Lexuses. I have to bring an old Lexus. The front seats are heated and ventilated, and you also have a heated steering wheel in this model. Two cup holders? Oh, come here. Let's look. look let, me, let me show you how they hide that's kind of fancy fancy it's kind of cool here and then center console which this is i mean you could put like a bag of peanuts in it or something power folding mirrors that's cool i like power folding mirrors into the rear seat of the nero Ooh, heated rear seats that's something nice Ooh, you kind of fall into it but it's not that bad the rear seat is very spongy and cushy comfortable few things that I notice the heated rear seats there's also USB type C ports on the rear on the back of the front seats very nice so fast charging there's also two air vents here but no third zone for the climate control the rear seat legroom very good I'm five foot nine I can fit my feet under the seat headroom is also really good there's a center armrest here with two cup holders and the armrest itself is you know nice and plush for being this little car and the rear seat does seem to recline let's see let's not embarrass myself <laughs> i'm not gonna touch it but you know it felt like it was gonna recline because it moved a little bit more than i wanted it to and that my friends is the all-new kia nero ev so we went over the hybrid plug-in hybrid and the full electric hopefully in the coming months i'll be able to test a uh, nero any model of one for a full, you know, full review and hopefully stay tuned for that. But I'm at the 2022 New York Auto Show. Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing, and also disliking. But I'll see you in the next video. Bye, peeps.